Marco is the co-founder of Genesis Mining. It is about remembering the people who were there in the beginning. All the cryptocurrency in the world traces its origins to raw mathematics. If you can solve complicated math problems faster than anyone else, then you stand to profit. As a result, members of the mining community find themselves in a figurative arms race to run the biggest, baddest mining rigs they can. And these days, that means using an ASIC miner. ASIC stands for Application Specific Integrated Circuit. These are a category of computer chip that exists to do exactly one thing at maximum power and maximum efficiency. Specialized ASIC chips have driven all kinds of electronic devices in the past, but when they emerged for crypto applications in 2013, they blew everything else away. The previous standard was Gichu Mining, in which people used high-performance video cards to calculate the math that could yield them cryptocurrency. Gupas were the go-to hobbyist choice because they were as plentiful as they were multi-purpose, you only needed to have a gaming PC with a strong graphics card to successfully mine crypto. But ASICs were a cut above, designed from top to bottom to be better, faster and stronger than the best mining Gupas. This left a lot of people cut out from their mining activities, they called them to keep pace with the new ASIC chips. A homebrew mining operation that was profitable one week was effectively extinct the next. If you had invested time and money into supporting the crypto ecosystem, while earning some money at the same time, you'd be predictably grumpy to see it go away overnight. I understand the call for as a resistant algorithms. This is happening right now with Ethereum. The core developers are moving forward with plans to implement a new proof-of-work algorithm that would make these specialized ASIC chips far less effective at mining Ether. This will preserve room on Ethereum's network for smaller-scale Gichu miners to regain more control of the blockchain, and therefore make more profit. Related, Wabidman's Ethereum ASICs will never replace busting for ASIC resistant algorithms in crypto as a way to protect the small scale players who aren't the operating industrial scale mining rigs. B2 miners are the first people to find any success in an emergent cryptocurrency because their hardware is versatile enough to solve a wide variety of complex math problems. And they do it rather well. But a multi-purpose Gichu can tea dream of competing against a highly specialized ASIC chip that solves exactly one type of problem with savant-level proficiency. To protecting the interests of Gichu miners is to protect the community that made a certain cryptocurrency viable in the first place. But in simplest terms, true Aussie, you can read full post on Cryptofans. News, link available in text below.